more about him more than any. He was known as a brilliant scientist and later as a philanthropist, but not many people are aware that he was also an entrepreneur. In 64, he found Union Carbide Electronics and 67 Intercell. Can anyone comment on that and those companies, ah. and particularly Intercell? Yes. Um, he was a very brilliant man. He had two PhDs from universities in Switzerland. Brilliant guy, but a t had a very tough personality to get along with. He uh, he was not the most popular man in the company. I think and from your first-hand experience working yes, with Fairchild. Working with Fairchild, very very difficult guy to get along with, and he had tons of people he was mad at at all times. <laughs> but the uh, thing he invented uh, was quite successful because it is the basis of the integrated circuit, as someone already has pointed out. And the thing that is. Fairchild was very secretive, and one of the things they did, if you didn't need to know, you didn't know. And TI was building a grown junction transistor and having much higher leakage than we did, and they used to coat the junctions with silicone varnish to, to make them have lower leakage. But the problem was it was a bit hydroscopic, and over time it made it worse. Now Fairchild, in their intensity, put the planar process on their transistor with the silicon dioxide, but then they coated them with the silicone varnish. And the reason for that was, if you tried to peel the silicon varnish off to look at the junction, the oxide came off too, and you were completely amazed as to what the hell had happened. And so TI thought that Fairchild was coating their parts with silicon varnish, and it was only to hide what they were really doing. Wow. But Hornet started this company and he had a difficult time recruiting people. And he had a great turnover. Why? Because he had a bad personality. He was bad tough to get along with, but very smart. And Amazing. You don't you don't read that. that. That's why these sessions are so important. Because as I claimed in our first talk, when uh, Dave and uh, I mean uh, Dave House and Ted were the panelists, that mo most of these books that you read about electronic <coughs> history are just worthless. They, People weren't there, they don't know the stories. These guys were there. Anyway, we'll save the applause for later.